Now we're going to take a quick look at the phases of learning. These are the stages that kids go through when you are introducing a new game to them. The first one is the orientation. That's where they're coming out to the field and they're seeing the game really for the first time. All you want to do is give them enough information to get the game itself going. They need to know the field, the goals, how they're going to score, the teams, and then any special rules. Now in our example here we've got three versus three and we have a neutral player. The neutral player is a special rule. So we're going to just say for the time being that's what the kids are learning. They're learning how to play the neutral player. Now the neutral player is a chameleon. They play with whatever team, whichever team has possession of the ball. So in this case it's four blue against three red. But when the ball changes hands the neutral player changes the team. So now it's four reds against the three blues. For some kids that's going to be a hard concept to grasp and so the orientation may take a while. The first time they've seen it they may not even get really understand it for the whole practice. So you give them enough time to get a feel for what's going on. Then the second phase, you start to look at the big problems. Now this is where you begin the process of reading the game, of analyzing what's going wrong and looking for the biggest problems. And usually what you'll find is that the biggest problems when you have a new game is understanding. The kids don't seem to grasp what the game's trying to teach or what they should be getting out of it. So in this case, the team in possession is always a player up. The game is always four versus three. So you could ask the kids after a while, hey, how come you keep losing the ball? You have a player advantage. What do you think you should try to do? Uh, maybe find the open player? Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go out and try that. So after they finally get the big problems out of the way and they have an idea what they're doing, that's when you start to look for the minor problems. And for the most part, those will be when you really start to pick apart some of the technical things. You might pull a kid aside and say, hey, look, maybe you play the ball with the inside of the foot here or play a little bit earlier, things of that nature. A common mistake for coaches is that they take a lot of the minor problems and they start working on them too quickly. Leave them alone, fix the big problems first, then get to the minor problems. A lot of times when you take care of the big problems, the small problems go away. The final phase of learning is when you see a transfer of what the kids have gotten out of the game into other games, into other forms. So for example, here's a situation where numbers up, we can keep possession of the ball. Now they're playing three versus three and the blue player is able to get by the red player and suddenly the blue players realize we're a man up. We're playing three versus two. The lessons that we learned in that last game apply here. We can keep possession of the ball and we can do something positive with it. There's an old saying, learning is a permanent change in behavior. So when you see the transfer is now going into other forms and other games, then you know that game you've been working on has done its job.